Hey everybody, it's Greg again. It's another edition of Unbreakable, the podcast. It's Monday, Veterans Day, November 11th, 11 11. 11 11. Happy Veterans Day, everybody out here. Thank you for your service. What a game, huh? Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. I tell you what, I need everybody to kick some butt. I need everybody to be like Dallas. Kick some butt. First of all, the Eagles had a lot of stay had one in Dallas in what six, seven years. Dallas is all banged up. But even when they had Dak Prescott, they sucked. They sucked. They sucked. They sucked. What a pathetic organization, huh? I mean, you got a bad coach, a really dopey coach. And then you've got an, an old owner who's like he's like a fossil. He's like a prehistoric guy. You know, and then after the game, after the Cowboys get their butts kicked 34 to 6 by our Eagles, they oh, I'm not going to fire Jared. I'm not going to fire McCarthy, the coach. No, 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 no. Good, good. Keep him on so the rest of the league can kick your butt. Keep him on. In fact, I even suggest that you give, uh, McCarthy, like McCarthy, an extension. I would extend him 10 years. That's what I would do. Anyway, so uh, Cowboys would just be relevant. You know, stop with the Cowboys. Oh, Cowboys this point. Cowboys. Thanksgiving Day, it's a tradition, right? You've got usually the first game of that game sucks because that involves the Lions. No need anymore. The Lions. Did you see that Lions game last night? They came back and beat the Texans. Lions are going to put on weight and love me on or something. So that Thanksgiving Day game, Lions, that's the game you watch. The game after it. Woohoo. Cowboys, Giants, eh? Now, I was thinking, you know, what a better way to. Start you keep off your holiday season and then watch a crappy game like the Giants and the Cowboys, huh? <sighs> Nothing says Thanksgiving like a turkey of a game. <laughs> the Cowboys and the Giants, oh my God. Two horrible, horrible teams. Horrible franchises, too. I mean, it's just not the teams this year. They've been horrible for a time. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know which is going to put me to sleep faster. The turkey on Thanksgiving or that game? <laughs> it's uh, just, I don't know who has it this year, CBS or Fox, or who, but they've got to be pulled in. Cowboys, Giants, come on, you're kidding me. Ah. So the Eagles went down when they took it. Was just, yeah, they turned the ball over too much, and they can't be doing that again. They had to turn the ball over at you know, five games, and now they start turning it over. Luckily, the Cowboys stayed, so they got away with it. But, you know, they, they took care of business. We had Saquon Barkley hurt his wrist, so he couldn't pile up the yardage like usual. But he had a good game. A.J. Brown over 100 yards. Uh, it was a team victory. The defense was great. Defense has been playing just great. The secondary, newly made secondary is so good. Cooper de Jean. Mm. Uh, and Mitchell, Mitchell, what a player he is. And uh, Zach Ball, uh, the linebacker. Oh, my God. So, uh, equals, equals, equals. And you know, other than Lions, I don't know who could match up with the birds right there. I mean, the 49ers won yesterday, but they're not what they used to be. You know, like we know, teams that lose the Super Bowl come back the following year and usually don't have a good year. Um, the Arizona Cardinals, look out for them. They're six and four. And uh, I feel what I'm saying is that the Eagles, there's not one team in the NFC that the Eagles can't beat. You know, with their weapons on offense, Goddard, 
Smith, A.J. Brown, Saquon Barkley, Jalen Hurts, the offensive line, the defensive player, great. Jay Kelly, great kicker. Uh, as long as the coach doesn't screw it up and do something stupid. Well, he really couldn't do that last yesterday because the Eagles just were so, you know, they were so dominant for the Cal, Cal girls that uh, he really couldn't do much to screw it up. So that's good. Anyway, uh, Eagles. The, wouldn't it be a great NFC Championship game, Eagles and the Lions? Now, the key thing is getting home field advantage. Too bad the Lions didn't lose last night because that would have tied them with the Eagles. But um, you know, if you can get home field advantage in the NFC Championship game, uh, get the Lions outside. Think of it this way. Jane, a cold, frigid January day. Maybe it's snowing a little bit, you know? Eagles hosted the NFC Championship game. The Lions, who are used to playing indoors. Jared Goff, good quarterback, but he doesn't like to play outside. And it's cold and it's snowing. And all of a sudden, you've got the Lions doing things that they don't usually do. They're so fast and speedy, but on a slick track, like the, 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 the lake, the field, and where it's icy, and it's snowy, and it's cold. They're not, they're not as fast as, he, as they could be. So I'm just saying the most important thing I think is to have home field advantage, as we see most of the time in the NFL playoffs. Whoever's got home field advantage uh, has a big, big edge. That's why, look, think about it. That's why the Patriots were on seven. From Tom Brady, because they always had home field advantage. They always had pe- uh, teams coming up to New England, where it's really cold in December or January, and uh, having to play up there. You know? So it's still important to get home field advantage. So we'll see what happens. The birds are four game days away, well, now three. Big Washington game, Thursday night at the link. Eagles turn around and right around, forget about the Cowboys. They stink and go right to the commanders or whatever their name is now. For the division, the Eagles leapfrogged Washington. You said, because Washington lost for Washington 28 27. What a close game. Um, Washington is going to be, they're going to be a hit. They're going to be careful because J.D. J, J, uh, Daniels is good. Okay. Uh, let's see how he plays against, against the Philadelphia defense. Uh, Zach Ertz. No, he's playing really well. He's coming back home. He's got like the second most res- uh, tight end receptions in, in the league. Zach Ertz is coming back and he's playing very, very well. So, uh, it's got to be a really good game. Now, you know, they are calling for possible rain showers Thursday, Thursday night. So that may make it very interesting as far as a side factor in the game, you know. But as the week goes on, I'll give you more thoughts about Eagles commanders. And uh, we'll see tonight, Rams and Dolphins. Yeah, yeah, that will work. Yeah. I'd probably watch it, but uh, I'm not really invested in that game. You know? Sixers just about win last night. What the hell? You know, they're up by, what, 16, 18 points in the fourth quarter, and they blow it? Charlotte Hornets, who stink, high the game. They go into overtime. Sixers are lucky they win. They took that team. That, what a dumpster fire, huh? Yeah, Joel Embiid is supposed to play tomorrow night against the Knicks, really? In a stupid NBA Cup? They're bringing that back again. Who cares? Did we really care that the Lakers won the NBA Cup last year? I mean, when it came down to the NBA playoffs, which is far more important, the Lakers, they, they stuck. I mean, stop with this NBA Cup nonsense, huh? But... 
Sixers Knicks tomorrow night. I'm sure a lot of those New Yorkers will be there and will uh, infiltrate the Wells Fargo Center. The Knicks talk. The Knicks. Spike Lee. Oh, Jesus. So there are things to Why am I filling stuff in today? Because I felt like it. And I've been, I'm waiting for the Phillies to make some moves here. Free agents, trades, you know. I know the year. The uh, winter meetings, general manager meetings, will be starting in uh, early December. So we should see some stuff. But uh, I don't know, it sounds like they're not going to get Juan Soto. The preliminary reports are there are six teams on Juan Soto, and the Phillies are not one of them. But they do want an outfield, you know? <laughs> okay, so who are you going to get? Right? What I heard, outfielder and right, right handed in the future. Okay, well, you know, Phillies get a closer, or need a closer, stop with this bullpen by committee. That, that, that never works. Get yourself a really good closer and get yourself a really good outfield. Stop playing around, you know? Come on. We're going to have to defend our NL East team. Sure. And uh, the Braves are going to be back, unfortunately. And you always have Mets in the mix. Hey, I got to tell you before I go. Last night I was on X, Twitter, whatever you call it. And there's this cowboy fit troll me. And I'm like, what the hell? Are you stupid? What a pathetic, pathetic. You, your, your team, your team just got stomped, just got crushed by the birds. If you have nerve to troll me, oh my God, isn't that stupid? <laughs> so stupid. So, that's, there you go. Can't we fans are worthless. <sighs> I had to put it in this place. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it. I told him something about Jerry Jones being old and see you know, I told him something about Mike McCarthy being a dude. And I just said to Cowboys, stop. I'm sorry. I had to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, now I have a lot to, do, a lot to uh, give thanks for Thanksgiving. Thanks for my health. Thanks for my family. Thanks for my friends. Thanks to God. We thank you, God. We cowboys of the charts on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Thank you, God. So as I'm eating the turkey or maybe after turkey, I'm just laying around. Ugh, you know, all the doped up and stuff with the dopamine or whatever they call. Obviously, I thank God. Thank you, God. All the blessings. And thank you for Calvin's chance. All right, well, that's enough for today. Uh, everybody have a good day. Celebrate the birds. Celebrate them. And celebrate, and then we're going to turn the page, and we're going to Washington. And we're going to kick their butt to Washington, and we're going to move on. And steamroll our way to the Super Bowl. I told you before, Eagles Chiefs Super Bowl. How about those Chiefs still undefeated? Eagles with their watch. That's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm predicting. Okay, everybody have a good day. Peace and love. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm working up uh, another classic movie of the week, you know? And so what will it be? Oh, I don't know. But we're going to pick a good movie to talk about. So. Everybody on good one. Happy Monday. Bye, birds fly. Go Eagles. Take care. Bye.